Okay, what we are talking about today is spheres. Okay, so a sphere is like a giant beach ball. Don't we wish we were all at the beach? Okay, so surface area of a sphere. So when I want to find the surface area, like the outside covering of a sphere, the formula is just 4 pi r squared. If I want to find the volume of a sphere, it is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay. If I want to find the surface area of a hemisphere, so first of all, what the heck is a hemisphere? So a hemi, a half of a sphere is here, just this green part here, it's showing just half of it. So the surface area of a sphere, the formula is just going to be 3 pi r squared. And lastly, the volume of a hemisphere, the formula for the volume is going to be 2 thirds pi r cubed. Okay, so this whole thing is a sphere. This half of it is a hemisphere. There's a circle that goes around the center of the circle of the sphere, and that is called the great circle. So a great circle on a sphere is one that passes around the outside of the center of it. Okay, so what I'm asked to do in this example is I want to find the surface area and the volume of the sphere. I want to get the exact answers and I want to get the answers rounded to the nearest hundredth. So first thing I need to look at is I need to realize, hey, the radius of this whole thing is five. So to find the surface area, the surface area is going to be four pi r squared. So four pi five squared. So that is going to be 100 pi and then it's area feet squared. So this is if they say exact, this is exact. I'm going to have a pi in the answer. If they say they want the rounded answer, I'm going to use pi is equal to, I'm going to use a pi button preferably, or 3.14159. That, those are the digits that I know for pi, so I use that. And when I do that rounded to the nearest hundredth, I'm going to get 316.16 feet squared. So that's going to be if it says rounded to the nearest hundredth. Okay. Now, next thing I have to do is I have to get the volume. So the volume of a sphere, the formula is four thirds pi r cubed. Okay. So it's just going to be four thirds pi five cubed. Okay. Now, what I'm going to get with this is 500 pi over 3 feet cubed. Now, that's my exact. Now, if you don't have that calculator, let me show you how you can get this. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to go to desmos.com. So remember, there's, that's the free online graphing calculator. You're going to click on Start Graphing. Now, it's a calculator right here. So what was I trying to do? I was doing 4 thirds pi and then 5 to the third power. See, 5 to the third power. Now, that just gives me this decimal answer. But I want my answer um, with the fraction. So you can't put it, the pi in there. You have to know to kind of hold the pi until the end. So I type in the whole thing without the pi. And it gives, still gives me this decimal answer. That's fine if I needed a rounded answer, but I don't. See this up here? I'm going to click on that. And now it is 500 over 3 pi. Okay, so remember in buzz, when you type that in, you're going to say it is 500 pi. You would do it like this, 500 pi. That's more than one thing in parentheses, divided by 3 feet cubed. Okay, so make sure you understand that's how you're going to type this into buzz right here. Now, that's if I want the exact. If I want the rounded answer, all I'm going to do, it's going to be a lot easier, just type that in in that um, calculator. You can type in PI or you can use the PI button and you're going to get 523.60 feet cubed. Okay, I want to make sure you can get the exact and you can get the rounded. Okay, I want to look at example B. This is really straightforward again, except the first thing I need to realize 
is what's given to me is the diameter. So the radius is equal to 12, because remember that's half of it. So I'm going to start by finding my surface area. So that is 4 pi r squared. So 4 pi 12 squared. 12 squared is 144 times 4 is going to give me 576 pi inches squared. So remember, that's my exact. Exact has the pi in it. When I round that using 3.14159 for pi or a pi button, I'm going to get 1809.56 inches squared. Now that's just the surface area. Okay, so again, I've got the exact answer and I've got the rounded answer. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to try and find the volume. So the formula for the volume, it is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So 4 thirds pi 12 cubed. So remember how we're going to do this? To figure out this number, when I type this all in, this one doesn't turn into a, it turns into a pretty number. It's not an ugly fraction. So it's 2,804 pi inches cubed, because remember volume is inches cubed. And then exact, when I go to do this exact, plugging in the pi button or 3.14159, 72, 38, 0.23 inches cubed. Okay, all right, I hope that's pretty straightforward for this sphere. All right, what we are looking at here is a hemisphere. So now I'm looking at this hemisphere. So I am going to look at the formula for the surface area of a hemisphere. So it's like half of the surface area plus the area of that circle, but I can just use my formula of 3 pi r squared. So I look at the picture, r is 15, really straightforward, 3 pi 15 squared. So I work that out. That is going to give me 675 pi meters squared. That's my surface area, exact, exact has the pi. When I use the pi button for 2.14159, I'm going to get 2,120.58 meters squared. That's my rounded answer. Now I'm going to do the same thing, except now I'm going to do it for volume. So volume is going to be 4 thirds pi r cubed. So I'm just plugging it in. 4 thirds pi times 15 cubed. So this one because 15 is divisible by 3, it's not going to have a real ugly answer. It's going to be 2,250 pi meters cubed. And then the exact answer when I plug in pi is 7,068.58 meters cubed. That is my rounded answer. Looking at this problem, I realized I don't have the radius. I need the radius. So in order to find the radius, I have to look and see, well, what do I have? What do I know? I have this thing called a great circle. I have the area of it. Well, I remember that the formula for the area of a circle is A equals pi r squared. So I know I can take this and I can plug it in for A and then I can solve for the radius. So 49 pi is equal to pi r squared. Now I'm going to divide both sides by pi and get rid of the pi's and I will have 49 is equal to r squared. So if ever you have r squared and you want r, take the square root and you're going to get r is 7. So I did all that work to figure out that my radius is 7. Now I can plug it in and I can find the other missing parts for my surface area and my volume. So surface area is equal to 4 pi r squared. So it is 4 pi 7 squared. So that just becomes 196 pi miles squared. And then when I plug that in as a decimal, I'm going to use 3.14159 
or the pi button, 615.75 miles squared. Okay, that's my surface area. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to find the volume. So the volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So I'm going to type in 4 thirds pi, and then what was r? 7 cubed. So I want to get an exact answer for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to desmos.com and then I'm going to go to this little spot up here. After you click, you go there, you click start graphing. Then I'm going to come here and you can type anything you want in a formula here. So I'm going to do 4 divided by 3 and then if I do the pi, oops, see, I got to get out of the denominator. If I do the pi, it turns it into a decimal for me. And then if I do seven to the third power, that's gonna give me my rounded answer. But here, the reason I'm trying to use this particular calculator as opposed to my phone, is that I want it to simplify the fraction for me. So if I don't put the pi in and I hold the pi till the end, because I'm doing this problem, I come click over here and it gives me 1,372 divided by three. So I can just go back and I can put the pi on that myself. So if I go back to my problem here, now I just plug that into my calculator and I got 1,372 divided by three pi, and then this is miles cubed, okay? Now be careful because in Buzz, how you will type this in is 1372 pi in parentheses divided by 3, then your miles cubed. And when I plug that in as a decimal, this part's now the easier part 1436.76 miles cubed. Okay, hope that helps you with spheres.